Chris's situation at the minute because she's uh, still going through court process, but it's nice to have a part of my work engine on my show to get another another opinion, you know, on the comments as they do come in, because our centre around forced adoption, um, social workers in this country are stealing children at an alarming rate, they're making families and mums feel and look vulnerable to the courts, and the judge are making, making decisions on adopting their baby. Um, and I often hashtag Scouse Megaphone man's the turn of the seas for children because um, we want to start seeing social workers in criminal courts because child stealing's going on in this UK. A big shout going out to everybody in the States. Big shout going out to everyone in Australia and New Zealand who get me in them groups and share me about. Um, I'll give children a voice all over the world, you know, because the adoptions in the UK, children are being sent abroad and children are being sent here. Um, in my eyes, it's, it's organised trafficking at the highest level, at the hands of the social services. And at the end of the day, the only people who get the shitty end of the stick are the police, the children's protector. Um, big shout going out to Silent Justice, Shane and um, all, the, all his crew down there, Silent Justice, the children's bounty hunter. Take my hat off to him. Um, I can't understand why the government are not giving this guy funding to police their internet, because they're clearing up more than half of the crime for the police um, regarding these paedophiles. And I'm a children's rights campaigner um, and I shout for all the paedophiles and child sex killers to be sent off to the NHS labs to cure children's diseases because the taxpayers are sick of wasting loads of money holding all these places in prison to hold them. You know, we want a zero tolerance on crime, on burglary, mugging old ladies. We want to protect children. Um, so getting all these paedophiles off the streets, out of our communities and out of our jails um, send them off to the NHS to cure children's diseases and that's what Hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man's all about. Um, GPS and all our children throughout the world um, and raising millions upon millions of pounds in them countries um, for children's mental health because the government don't give a shit and I'll say how it is because I'm for us passion for change. Um, what do you think Chris, you know? Well, the same James. At the end of the day, they are leaving the parents vulnerable when they take them into court. And it's not the dumb thing to do, and I do believe that children that are removed should stay within the family circle, not just run up for adoption. I mean, what social workers do to make these parents feel vulnerable is that they, they include people on viability assessments, people that are not liked, this fam, part of her family, the people that are not, don't like her, they're inviting them along for viability assessments to build up a case against her, to make her look vulnerable to the court so they can adopt their baby. 
Um, this is a part of my work engine Chris Griffin that I'm going to help um, and I'm going to start looking into the adoption process because I might want to adopt a child. You know, it might want to be, might want to be Chris's child but I'm going to go out my way to help her and whatever I can do, I'm going to do to get her child back. Um, because at the end of the day, it's more therapy. Um, a successful social services, a combated social services, is a successful therapy for hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man. I'm about rolling funds and about making as much money as I can for children, you know. And um, I don't know why the government don't take me up on some of these ideas that I've had. Um, well, forced adoption, you know, Chris, it's bad, isn't it? it is bad. There's quite a few people on your Facebook who are friends who are, who are affected by it. A lot of people on my Facebook are affected um, by it. And so social workers, are, you know, when you go onto their, uh, their profiles on their, on their Facebook, they're quite happily bragging to family members and friends on how many kids they've taken and foster parents are doing the same thing. Oh yeah, we've just got given another child. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And it, it, it's actually shocking what's going on. Um, because when it comes to reunification, if this child might go home or does go home, the child doesn't want to go home because like, the parent yourself can't compete. Oh. Um, with the foster parent, I mean, yeah, again, no. why why do the foster parents get so much money? Why do you think it is, Chris? It's just a money game to them, paper game, all for money. They take the money, they don't spend it on the children. I know that from my own kids. Spent hundreds, thousands on my kids, me and my whole family, and not once did any one of my kids turn up for contact with what I bought them. Yeah, th that, that's, a, that's a tactic the social workers and foster parents probably use. Um, when you do actually buy stuff for the kids, so you're still providing for your child, even though it's a looked after child. And I take my hat off to all you parents that do that. Um, and what happens is, you don't see that stuff again. They won't turn up in them new trainers, they won't turn up in that new coat. And then again, that will cause animosity, and that will go on contact report notes. So please take note of this, you know. Um, children, I mean, I've heard of one case where a, a child's been given a horse. Take my hat off to you, Kenya Marie Morgan, by the way. I've given, been given a horse, you know, it's, it's bad, it's mental, emotional abuse to a child, breaking a family bond, you know. Um, for a council, um, stole my child. For those who don't know, for those who, who have just joined my Facebook recently, um, I'm hashtag Scouse Megaphone, man known as Jack Barnes, Google me from Forrock. Um, social services said that I was a terrorist and a violent armed robber and tried to adopt my baby. They lied on a threshold statement to remove my baby um, went back to court to defend their perjury, said it was a terrorist, a violent armed robber, um, and other such things. Proved my innocence, got my child back, and now I'm here as your voice, because it does go on. What you say, I can prove, prove what goes on. If you get your comments in, um, and, and want me to touch on any part of social services, I can experience it, no matter what you've gone through, I've experienced it. All forms of social services, from the age of six of being a looked after child, all the way up until I was hounded like a pack of wolves by social workers and they tried to adopt my child and say I was a terrorist and now I'm here for your voice um, because the government needs to be need, need, need to be taking it, taking it on board I mean you've got them all over in Blackpool at the minute all the labour lot and all the rest of it and they're all in their little private room um, discussing their social care and I, I can guarantee you tonight in Blackpool they're talking about hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man regarding their social care in the Buckingham Room um, at Blackpool where the Labour are holding their conferences and all that tonight. Um, so no doubt I'm, all, I'm, I'm on everybody's lips and mind and you know but I, I'll give children a voice and on I will plod you know. Um, I want to give a few shout outs. Kaz, Kaz is my sister, hello Kaz, love you loads and, and Jamie. Diane Edwards, love you loads, hat off to your girl, keep me informed on that case, because I'm, I'm on ya. Rob Wyatt, hello mate, good, good friend of mine Rob, thanks a lot for joining us, please share this, we need to share this. CJ, hello, hello, CJ's from Felix now, um, went, I went to a, a meeting with her, I'm not going to talk about her case, but the social services down at Felix now shit themselves, because I'm frustrated passion for change. Um, Emma, Emma Jane Howard <coughs> joined, hello Jack. Keely Rapson. Hello, Keely. Keely Rapson, that's the name. Keely Rapson, please do contact me. I have got firm evidence um, to get you justice. I'm not going to go into it. Please, please contact me. Um, I've, I've already been in talks with the police and I am, I am going to get you justice and give you a voice. So, Keely Rapson, please inbox me. I want to meet you. Um, and I'm, I'm so happy you've joined. 
and please say hello to your auntie for me. Jonathan, Richie, hello, thanks for joining us. Louise, Ben, hello, Jack and Chris. Chris has joined me tonight, part of my work engine. Teresa, hola, hola. Kaz, so proud of, of my brother, thanks a lot. And I'd like to say to the government regarding forced adoption and children not seeing their if parents being alienated from their children. And I'd like to say to the government, why, is not, why are the Facebook lives on these matters not causing alarm to you? You and your MPs, you sneakily watch me week in, week out, month after month. And what do you do? You hide away, you mess about with my videos and you don't get me out there. Because I'm actually embarrassing the MPs and the councillors. I'm actually doing that, you know. I just think it's shocking that the BBC don't get me out there because if you're not challenging me on my Facebook lives on forced adoption and parents being alienated from their children, then there must be some truth in what I'm saying. Because I don't see no police in five years coming to speak to me once. Not once in five years. I don't work for the government. I don't work for social services. I don't suck the cock at the establishment. I'm for us passion for change and I'm sorry if I offend anybody by saying that. But if you're easily offended, please stay a fucking way. Because social services should be held to account. And me, hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man, in change. I would like to see cameras on social workers. An independent body supplying that service. Because <coughs> if children's services is not for profit, and all I see are social workers going into court not telling the truth, pulling families apart, Causing animosity in the community. The police get the shitty end of the stick clear and all that, all the playground squabbles. The government cut the children's protector, which is the police, cut their budget by 19.6 million. And they give them a 1% rise. Are they having a fucking laugh, government? Do you know what I mean? Children, I'm a voice for children. And these children, when they're taken off of families, they're put into foster parents, and they're put into care homes, and they're left to run rack and ruin. Chris, they are. And if you look at some children when they're in the care system, don't be offended because your, care, your child's part of the care, look after no, child. No, no, no. But when they're in these care homes, they're just left. They're, left, they're, they're drinking, they're smoking they're weed, yep. they come out, having they sex. Have they end up in prison. So I've these... looked up the statistics. I've been a psychologist. I've now had to look it all up. I don't believe in, and I'm going to say it live over here, ADHD or ADD or anything of the sort. But what I will say is I was upset. Um, last week they were brought to my attention that Jack was supposed to work for the local authority. I was saying to myself, um, if that was true, people should sit down and think. They had their own children taken, their own child. Do you really think they would work for the local authority? Not really. So perhaps people should think about that, because if you're accusing Jack of working for the local authority, then I can only presume that you would accuse myself. And I can't say live over here. Nobody, none of us work for the local authority. Jack is for the voice for the children. So if you have got a problem, because I've noticed that many parents are frightened to come forward, don't be. If you want your children's voices heard, go to Jack or message myself and we'll only be too glad to help you. There you go. Thank, thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks a lot for that. I mean, people say I work for government. If you quite openly Google me, Jack Barnes Thorough, you'll see, after my court case, the Misty Barnes case, uh, my local council, Thorough Council, um, after I beat their social workers in court, I wiped the floor with the legal team and brought my child home. Now, after that court case, um, I was offered a job to train and induct social workers at Thorough Council. I was that good. I was asked to work on the legal team, I was asked to work on the children's overview and scrutiny committee panel within the council. Um, I was asked to be part of that by um, the Labour, he was the leader at the time, John Kent. I've got much much respect for him, take my hat off to the John Kent. Um, and I've, I've gone on different paths. I'm now a governor to be a, 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 one of the best schools in, in the South East, if not the South, um, with an outstanding Ofsted um, Writing, which I'm proud of, um, and, I, and I campaign for every school to have a uniform shop within the school to ease that budget, you know, and get them kids as much money as they can for learning, because I believe every school should have a coach. These school uniform shop 
in, within the school should keep the money within the school and then what they should be doing is using that profit to get the school a coach to broaden the teaching because that, the, te the teachers, some teachers, they're scared to go to school because the, 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 the teachers are racking, the kids, some of the kids are racking ruin. Do you know what I mean? Being assaulted, 14, 15, you can't touch me, I can sue you. And the kids these days, they, they know the law. They know the law. But it's important for a kid to attend school every day and learn because the world is so advanced. It's so advanced. And all robotics and drones delivering and it's scary stuff. Cars being driven by computer and satellite. It's crazy stuff. Um, but I'm not going to go off forced adoption because that's why we're here. And I, I'll, I'll give children a voice and I'll say it again. I'll say to the government, once you take a child's right, you lose the right. If you are a paedophile or you're a child sex killer, I mean, look at Ian Huntley. Take him, for instance. He's got one eye. His, his other eye was taken on a target, on a bonus. Now he's got one left and he's in prison. Why can't we use him for children's, cure children's eyes, eye disease and take the other one? Because he, he killed a child. Two. So, off, off, what do you think on that idea of the hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man, Chris? Using all the paedophiles to cure children's diseases. My daughter's a prime example, isn't she? Baby. I think it's a fantastic I idea. Same with the um, chipping of children. If that was done, we'd all know where our kids were, to be honest. I mean, I'd like to GPS all our children, and I come up with the GPS idea because of the mechanics. And I'll say to the government, my child was stolen on future risk of harm, exactly the same as Madeleine McCann. Now, Madeleine got £80,000, I'm telling you, government, and all you MPs, the McCann's got £80,000 of taxpayers' money for an investigation. They left their child a future risk of harm. Now, I'm asking the government, and I'm asking the Treasury, and I'm going to ask Liz Trust, the Secretary of the Treasury, can I have £80,000 of taxpayers' money to investigate my child being stolen on future risk of harm? Because there's no balance. There's no balance. And I urge whoever's doing that investigation to be... I don't know why the social services are not going round to the McCann's house. Because they've still got two children that they're looking after. You know? And it, it, it's, it's, the, it's one thing for the government and it's one thing for us families at grassroots level. And these McCann's probably done operations in hospital on some influential people. Maybe they are protected. But when a social worker steals your child on future risk of harm and leaves your son to suffer all forms of abuse at the hands of his mother... Same social worker, same council. There's no balance. And the social workers, they're a lot above themselves. And I'll say, why aren't we having the social workers in the Misty Barnes case on the Jeremy Kyle show? Because the last week's live, I sent to Jeremy Kyle on Twitter. Okay. Not a response, Chris. Nothing. That don't surprise me, you won't get involved. He did not lower his trousers, come and have a listen, <coughs> and have the decency to acknowledge the video. No. That's no surprise. So, I'll, I'll say to Jeremy Kyle... I hope you're proud of yourself, ripping families apart on a polygraph test, what won't stand up in court, and then sending social workers in on referrals. If Jeremy Carl watches this, how would he feel losing his kids for his drinking habit? My dad was a, gave up drinking 20 years before I even had my son, and he's 17. So how would he feel having his kids... Maybe some professionals, happy. like Judge Lynn Roberts, I'll take, I'll take my hat off to Judge <coughs> Lynn Roberts because she was my judge at the time, and I've got to do that, she's not corrupt, my child came home. I forgot what I went on to then, because Cheryl passed me something. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee, thanks for joining us. Kaylee Marie Morgan, big shout going out to you, girl. Um, Jack, you want to see my live? I told them to cut their shit out. I'm sick of seeing people trying to put you down. Kaylee Marie Morgan, these are the haters. Um, That's all right, darling. I've got his back for that. Don't worry about that. I'm not part of the establishment. I was in the 2015 election, part of the Conservative Party. And I went no secret about what I was going to do when I got, as a, got in as a, uh, a councillor. I told them all I was going to rock that ship violently to see who could swim. I told everybody on the megaphone in that council. Um, I'm not part of the establishment. And I'll see all these councillors in these councils, up and down these councils. They are human shields to the chief executive and the leader of the council. That's what they are. 
to answer and deal with scrutiny. So you people, when you make a complaint in at the council, you're complaining to a work engine that answers and deals with scrutiny. How can I complain about you, about you, and expect you to deal with it about you? Where's the transparency and accountability in that? And for any new parent that has joined, what I'd like to say, <laughs> when a judge removes a right for your child, it's called dispensing with a parent's consent when the parent doesn't have mental wealth. You've basically got to be locked away to have that done, and that's what you call false adoption. When the judge takes that right away, if you've not signed your child away. I can understand on the, on the initial court case, when uh, you're taken to an emergency or like we did, you're in court tomorrow. Um, I can understand the court acting on a worst case scenario, and they have to act in case. So I can understand that court case. But what the social services in my case didn't understand is, all the evidence I had, I could only submit to the court at a certain time because the judge would only allow that. So I waited till my final trial and exposed the social worker when she was on oath. On oath. Deborah Box Baxley, I want to touch on this. Anyone that says you work for social services, etc., must be insane. You do live feeds to expose what's happening in so-called child protection. And all the stuff you say is so true. And it is true. Social services, the government say children's services is not for profit. And when you look at the director and the head of children's services in the council, they're on fantastic wages, all these social services on, 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 on bonuses, um, Edward Timpson in, fo in fo foster and adoption agencies, big mis massive buildings in London, um, unbelievable to furnish the place, let alone rent. Um, so obviously there's loads of money in it. Um, adoption agencies being made up within six months being sold for millions of pounds. You're telling me it's not for profit? It is, of course. And then when you see all these parliament uh, uh, expenses, they're all turning out with the top brass on, getting their money for turning out, claiming for their second this, that and fucking have that, all on our expense, mate. And when this has anything to do with children in parliament, five or six people. Five or six people. And I'll say to Lord Folks, and I'll say to Lord Beecham, Aren't you ashamed of your politicians turning their back on forced adoption? Child trafficking at the highest level, in my case. It's not just that, what's Theresa May doing about it? I've met Theresa May. I know you have. I've been on a, a nice sunny day, bus journey, open top bus, yeah, yeah. Grand Chaps. Yeah. I've sat in an office with Theresa May. Well, then she lied to you as well, didn't she? So, double standards, and we put them people in the very position they're in. And there you've got Jack, Jeremy Corbyn in Blackpool at this minute saying we're going to hold government to account, promising millions of pounds to everybody. Where's all the money coming from, Jeremy Corbyn? If you're going to hold the, the government to account, I'm accusing your local government, Thorough Council, of perjury and nicking my kids. If it's bullshit, challenge me on it. If it's not, address it. Because I'm giving children a voice. I want to GPS all children throughout the world to raise millions of pounds for children's mental health. Now, if we GPS half of our children, that's 6.5 million children. That's a 195 million pound rolling fund. You'd be able to track your child where they are. Initial boost for the NHS. With people not rather that knowing where their child is. To exactly. Where their child is. Exactly. And children are born every day. This GPS system you could put in the Alzheimer's sufferers, ease the police, ease the NHS, 850,000 Alzheimer's sufferers. Look how that's, many parents are scared to take their child to the hospital. That's £25 million pound initial boost into Alzheimer's sufferers, put on GPS in them. Fantastic. And, and, and these politicians think they know it all, mate. Try living it at the grassroots level. Try running out of electric at 12 o'clock at night. Try using a food bank, let alone fucking visit one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They wouldn't know how to make a Yorkshire pudding no, or a fairy cake. I wouldn't piss on their hands if they don't. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, Deborah. Um, I don't work for the government. I don't. No. CJ, I have this problem, as you know, Jack. CJ's a part of my work, and I went to Felixstowe um, to attend a lack review meeting. Um, the social workers on that day, they was pre-warned I was going to the meeting. They checked me out. 10 o'clock, the, the morning of the meeting, 10 o'clock, they said to this girl, CJ, the meeting's been candled because the independent reviewing office is not well. What a bullshit excuse, Felix, though, social services. Should be ashamed of yourselves. Um, 
Great to see you still logged on, CJ. Billy, Billy Draper, buying their love. Um, Jonathan Ritchie, thanks for joining us. CJ, my social services shit themselves when Jack came to my meeting. And they did. They did. Because I give children a voice. And in that case, the children were failed and so was the mother. And the social services know I'm on them. They know I'm on them. I'm not going to go into it, but thanks a lot for CJ and be strong. Um, Louise, thank you for the for the chat. That's okay, Louise. That uh, I hope the whole bus heard me when I spoke to you, Louise, because I could see them all watching your screen when I was yeah, chatting to you. Yeah. So I just hope I spread the word to the whole bus because I'll see a few of them laughing. Well, I'm glad that put a smile on your face. <laughs> Robbie Owen, hello. Foster carers. Robbie Owen, does he want me to touch on foster carers? Oh. I'm start with that. Foster carers, this, we do need to have social services there and there are some good social workers and there are some good so foster carers because my child was clean, healthy every time she came to contact apart a couple of mishaps of evidence that I've got where I've photographed it but I won't go into that now um, but foster carers, why are they paid extortionate amounts of money to look after, looked after children? I thought they are doing it for love well, the government have given them the incentive of the old oh, sort the bedroom tax, foster the child. It's my, it's just money my local council, for the council, they're starting to get rid of all their looked after children because they know I'm going to go to court to seek to remove the council's children because they failed 40% plus. I think I'll send it to them. No, you foster care, you, you no, can't take no. children on future risk of harm yeah, off my is community. It? What is it? What and then put them in a children's home and leave them to run back in ruin. They can't just sit in a court and say, well, we think you're going to do this to your child, so we're going to throw your child up for adoption. It's a crystal ball, isn't it? I said it in the court. Google can't predict it, so what gives them the right to try and predict it? But that's where I'm going to take them on my ground, Chris, because I'm, because I'm not gagged. And because the council know that and that I won't take money for, off the council, when I've done the Mr. Barnes case, I'm going to seek to remove the local council's children. Yeah, on the same very yeah. matter. Oh, well, your foster carers might do this. Oh, well, you might do that. Yeah. You might nick someone yeah. else's kids. You might tell lies on another viability assessment. Yeah. So take their kids. Do you know what I mean? And I urge anybody who has a psychological assessment or a, um, a psychiatric assessment, I want you to marry it up with the social worker's final statement of fact. <coughs> because I'll see it as a pattern. Look you know what they said about me, 70% IQ and I'm no psychologist. And these social workers, they're not NHS qualified to be saying this. They're not. No. Oh, you've got mental health problems. How are you professional enough to say that, I social they workers? They just say take Unbelievable. And, 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 I think we should have cameras on social workers' government. I think, I think so. I the think time's so. come. Because you've got them on the police, you've got them on cam on, on parking attendants. The social workers are being offered to go to the Healthcare Professionals Council, the HCPC, to answer to what they've done. That's not accountability. But then they commit perjury in court, so they should have cameras on them. Perjury is a very serious offence, government, and you know that and I know that. What is your judicial system worth to you? Because of your local authority, Farrah Council, got caught by me stealing my child. How many other children is this social worker who's been going for 13 years? How many children has she stolen? The social work, the, the government have had five years to address hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man. Siobhan Connu is a criminal. She took off in a family court and told a pack of lies and tried to defend her perjury from the initial court case of stealing her to adopting her. I got the Guardian's evidence thrown out. The social worker was scratching, all his skin was inflamed, dropped the folder on the floor, she fell apart, mate, in front of Judge Lynn Roberts. And the barrister for the local authority was signalling in court to the social worker. I wrote down on a bit of paper the, the, the barrister signalling signal to the social worker. I tap my barrister, give it a bit of paper, it was pointed out in court, and do you know what the local authority's barrister said? Well, I've got to try, haven't I? That's how fucking good I was. I wiped the floor with the legal team after I dealt with the social workers, and I can't understand why the government want to protect Siobhan Connor so much. 
Is she part of an organised trafficking gang who works within social services? You haven't got enough placements to place these kids. Why is there an adoption rate? A target? Target, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they say they don't take kids for money. What's the target thing about? Why is there a target government? Is it because of the percentage of population? Assuming is the mother of all fuck-ups, as they say. They didn't even turn the first page to see what I was about. But the thing that gets me is when they <coughs> bring out the new law about children, the guardians don't stick by it. And the court just sits there and the judge allows the guardians to just take over the court. I'm telling all you people, the guardians are in the social worker's pocket. Trust me. Unbelievable. I want to tell you a little joke. Social worker goes to court. Every time that goes to have a pub, have a pint. As 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 half a pint, pours the other half in the pocket. As an half a pint, pours the other half in the pocket. Yeah. And at the end of the night, who pops the head out the pocket? The Guardian. See you next week. Sozzled, mate. In the pocket of the social worker, the Guardians. Because her evidence in the Misty Barnes case got thrown out of court. She, the judge Lynn Roberts give her permission and said, do you want to change your statement? She said, no, I stand by the social worker. And it was told, you, I'm throwing your evidence out of court. That left the social worker all on her jacksy, mate, telling lies. Where's the accountability? If I told one lie to the social worker, my child would have been adopted. Adopted. Unbelievable. And these three masks here, these represent three children I've saved. One's my son, one's my daughter, and one's another child I'm not going to name, but it's going for adoption. And the only person that truly, truly suffers in that child I saved going for adoption is the auntie and the sister of this child. They're the people that get hurt. The true ones. I'll take my hands off to them too. Um, Billy Draper, buying their love. Um, Jonathan Ritchie, thanks for joining us. CJ, Louise, um, thanks for the chat. Robbie Owen, I've read this one, but I'm going to shout it again. Please share this shit. I'm not challenged by government. Five years I've been campaigning for this, forced adoption, parents being alienated. I'll take my, I take my hat off to all you men. That cry of a night time. Yeah, you men. Those days, yeah. For your children. Terrible. I do, I talk to a lot of dads every single day and it is horrible that they're not seeing their kids or you've got the mum that's saying that they can't see their kids and they cough up and all this. What is that? It's not about us parents, it's about the child. And each day I see it, groups forming out, this one arguing, that one arguing. Get a grip people. Yes. You know? It's for the children, not us. We need to we need to try and get all even all the haters on board and let's do it properly because children need a voice and I want to get on with everybody because if I get on with everybody then I can make the most change for children your children and I'd like to say to any of you double standard MPs you Mr Goves you David Camerons you Elizabeth Truss you Jackie Doyle Price MPs how would you like it? Do you know what annoys me, Chris? I've not broken no laws in five years. No. I've not killed anybody. No, I'm not a terrorist. Why aren't I on TV? Why aren't the BBC exposing it? Are they the are they sucking the cock of the establishment in theory? Knocking all the trees down, putting all the propaganda. Well, actually, the I don't watch telly. I don't watch it because they live off the government. I think it's bad. I, I, I think they should be ashamed of themselves. You know? All in the Buckingham room in Blackpool, all you Labour people. What do you think on forced adoption? Because you're certainly talking about social care. And oh no, oh no, the Misty Barnes case, mate. It's cost thousands. I have cost the council and the local government thousands upon thousands. And I'm proud of it because I've saved three children. And I'm still going to cost them money <laughs> because they're not addressing it. They come and speak to me about criminal charges. Solutions. I've got solutions for the holes in Theresa May's social care bag. The budget bag for social care. You can't keep plugging it with money. You've got to plug the holes, Chris, haven't you? Yeah. 
Get load of rolling funds in the social care bag. In and hashtag Scouts Megaphone, mate. And if people want boom, change, boom, 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 boom. they're sharing if they want change. If they yeah. don't want change or whatever. But there's no point of them going around saying you're a social worker. That's the most ridiculous thing on the road. Let's not dwell on it because don't get off on it. But I do. I do dwell on it because <laughs> they're screaming because they want help. But if they can't... Don't, you know, if they want the help, then get sharing, you know, put it out there, get the kids' voices heard. If they don't, go off the site and move on to someone else. Follow me, on, follow me on Twitter, at one Misty Barnes. Follow me on YouTube, hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man. Like to say... Five years this man's been doing that, and not hardly anyone has done a share. What? My get children sharing. are home. I'll, I'll do this because I'm a failed, looked after child. If you want change. Battered within the establishment. Share it if you want change. If you don't, disappear. Big, big, big thank you to all the people in Australia, New Zealand, um, and, and the states that get me out there because this is a worldwide problem. It's yes. a worldwide problem, and I'm a voice for the children. It's not I've just been that child. It's happening worldwide. Orphanages everywhere. Um, I don't know whether you want to read a few out, Chris. No. John Robson, a few shouts. John Robson, thanks for joining us. Inbox me, I'll tell you what Jeremy Cowell, Eddie, told me on the phone. I'd like to, I'd like, I'll, I'll follow you up on that, John Robson. Sweet, um, scribble that down for us, please, babes. Thanks a lot, babes, for doing this tonight. Your missus is chopping down all the comments. Keep them in, I'll come in, and I'll touch on them regarding social services and parents being alienated from their children. CJ, we all have your back, Jack. Thanks a lot. Um, my back's all right, it's my beanstalk that we need to sort it out because it needs to get higher and higher so I can be heard. Um, Richard Cordy, Samantha Jane Richards, said to inbox her about Jeremy Carl assistant, Charlotte said to her, um, I think Jeremy Carl's on the sniff around here, um, I'd love to go on the Jeremy Carl show to give children a voice, but what I'm not going to do is go on the Jeremy Carl show and, and um, um, have to prove my innocence because I've done it in a family court twice. I've standing, it's more or less stood in a family court naked and proved my innocence. So I'm not going anywhere to prove my innocence. I'll go and see Jeremy Kyle to give a child children a voice um, in terms of getting the social workers on the show um, to have a bit of transparency and accountability for the people. Because that's what it's all about. Social services, bonding communities and make it a nice place with the councillors bonding the communities and the MPs Bonding the communities, easing the household bills. They're not into all that, mate. They're into the last pound in your pocket. Extortionate paid late day lender loans in your high street. Cash generators. They want you to spend every pound in your pocket and suppress you. You've got to go work. You've got to go work. You've got to go work. We're kicking you out. Social workers involved. Before you know it, you're getting evicted from your hacky council house. Now you haven't got a house for your kids to come home to. Shit, what am I going to do? Had a dog, take my hat off to you, a sufferer. Unbelievable how they're making these mums feel. Making them feel vulnerable. Putting them in mother and baby units. Splitting them up as parents. Dividing and conquering. Right. Sending them away from their family network. And yet Assessing them. They're supposed to be public servants, but they don't serve, so just steal your children. Removing the children from its bond. Yeah. Not gradually. No. Oh, the child no, settled, they no. can't come on. Bollocks. It was different when you was nicking it. Well, you know what I to say about their section 47? What a load of rubbish. And like I say, you lose your child to adoption, they will target you again. If you're a baby P's mother, a Columbia's mother, you'll get a new identity. And I'd like to say to you, government, why is that? Why do them scumbags, who should be curing children's diseases at the NHS, why do they get a new identity, and those people who force adoption, or people who suffer adoption, why do they get ridiculed by the public, the local community that they live in, ridiculed and judged, and then targeted again later by social workers? You haven't dealt with your past, we're having that baby off you as well. Unbelievable. It's mad. It's it's, te it's creating jobs for the snobs. It is. Extortionate yeah. w money, wages. Some of them are paid more than three times more than the Prime Minister. Cutting and pasting your paperwork for court. Fucking it up and getting it wrong. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? And they're getting it 85 grand, 120 grand, chief executives, 198,000 pounds. And what they're doing are closing all the voluntary services. They don't give a shit about the people. And they'll still draw their money. Quorum is in Cambridge. So if any of your kids are in Cambridge and you want to go on a protest, I'll join you. The heart of Quorum, the biggest adoption agency, is in it's Cambridge. It's a termed adoption agency. It's the same in Thorock. 85 grand Quorum debt per child. Every 20 minutes. I'd like to say exactly. to you, government, it's only going to be a matter of all time that you have to deal with the consequences in terms of somebody taking the law into their own hands on forced adoption. Because I'm addressing this week in, week out. I should take it into the house. And some people okay. can't be told. No. You can't do it that way. And I don't urge anyone to commit any criminal offences. Because the minute we do, we lose the whole lie ground. And the government will fucking love it. But then the government play fig because they know no cut. They don't know what's going on. But they do because they get their cut in the share of the money from the kids that they're taking and sending off. And they're not just sold off in this country. They're sent over worldwide and most of them are sent to the USA. I've done the statistics and it's disgusting. 40% of your children leaving care have failed. Yep. Drugs Drugs, problems. Prostitution, prison, you name it. Most of the sex industry is looked after, looked after girls, mate. So who's caused the future risk wrong? So All our British girls have been moment, abused. They're taking your kids. It's disgusting. 27 professionals in the J report of the Rotherham inquiry and all that. Systematic. Widespread failures. 27 professionals in that inquiry refused to give questions. And that's professional avoidance. On most of these things, Grenfell Tower, another one, load of inquiries going on. Professional avoidance. The Misty Barnes case. I'm accusing your local government, Theresa May, of perjury. What are you going to do about it? Forced adoption. And if it ain't corruption, why aren't the government stepping in to stop what's going on? Because they're all in on it. They don't know what to do with me. They don't know what to say to oh, me. It's disgusting. It is disgusting, isn't How it? How would the government like it if it was their kids, or the Queen like it because it was their grandchildren? And I'll say to these, the Lib Dems, you kids, you lovers, I mean, you've got your open common people. You've got the pen dragons, you've got other, other right wing people. Never say never, government. These are clever people, passionate people, and I'll take my hat off to every single one of them. I know I'm going to shine through, and I'd be a pol I'd be a politician for any political party because I'd love to give children a voice. I'd love to revolutionise children's services, social services, combat and social services because I believe a combat and social services is a successful therapy for me. Because that eight-year-old child who I once was will be smiling and leave care with sights of a degree. Be good at a sport it's doing and do it for England. Work within the establishment, MI5, government and be the best. That's what I looked after children should be. Not kicked out the fucking care system, failed. And me, hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man, as a, a politician, would like to do that. Assess all children in and out of the care system to give that child accountability because that child when it leaves the care system is targeted like I was targeted and my child was stolen now all the abuse I've suffered within the establishment of social services and there on after when I was at adults I'm lucky I'm lucky I'm not a drug, drug addict I'm lucky, lucky I'm not in prison for a serious charges doing a lengthy stretch. I'm lucky I'm not dead. I'm thankful I'm your voice. And I'm not going to stop doing this. Because I look at, I look at myself once as a, an 8 year, 5 year old, 8 year old child, 10 year old child. And I look at myself. I would be screaming to, to be by that bloke. Megaphone man. So that's why I do it. Because I've been that child. I've been that parent, I've been that father, alienated, accused, you know?
I've never been convicted of any domestic violence, ever. Do you know what I mean? It's forced adoption at its best, and the government still choose to ignore it. And what these people, you, are saying is true. The only problem is you've, they've got a reaction. And when they gag you, they've suppressed you even more, which silences the courts even more. So I'll say it live over here again. Do not show the paperwork online. Read it out. Please listen to my work, and you? Don't show it online because you will get a gagging order. And um, once you gag, you're done. You can never speak about it again from the day you're dead. That's it, done. Do not show your paperwork. Measure twice, cut once. Enough. That's it, done. <laughs> John, Rob, John Robinson, thanks for that. CJ, thanks for that. Richard Cordy, Samantha Jane Richards said in Box You Later, thanks for that. Love you, Sam. Keep up the good work as well. <laughs> Julie Lamb shared in Huddersfield, you nailed it, Misty. Thanks a lot for Julie. Sharon Pearson, I was a kid in care. My children are in care. Oh, my hat off to you, Ch um, Sharon. Um, let's just hope your children are failed through the care system. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Julie Lamb, the system is rigged to make money with our children. Mm -hmm. And the system mm -hmm. of social services, I do think, is to create jobs for the snobs. Because these barristers, I'm telling you, if you don't produce the goods and direct them, direct them, you're not going to win. Because they don't care whether you win or they don't care if you lose. They get paid. And I urge all you people, do not go and find a barrister down your local high street. Stupid thing to do. Really stupid. Don't bother. They live out of the local authority. Because what, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're dealing with friends. These, these professionals go to the same court and act on different families on a regular basis. Though, so they become friends. So I urge all you people to go out your area and get a barrister. Get a barrister or learn law yourself. Do what I do. And that's what social services are there for. They create jobs for the snobs. Look at look at the assessments. How much how much thousands of pounds do they get? That toffee now is for judging you for an hour, and she'll use your social worker's final statement of fact and carry out a report for the court to make you look bad. And anyone that can't get those, and this is a pattern to represent themselves. Why are people not learning about the law? And if I work for social yeah. services, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> they need to learn about the law if they're representing themselves. Thanks a lot for that, Julie. Because they'll go to court and they won't know what section of the law or what unless they learn it like I did. CJ said Jack is the only one who gives a shit about our kids. Social services don't give a shit and they don't. No, they don't. They got millions of pounds back in the day off David Cameron to keep families together they when they was ripping mine apart. They don't care who they throw your kids on to. They just want their money. All these MPs, Google Jack Barnes Tharrock. Go on to images and you will see, go on to my photos on my Facebook profile and you'll see how many MPs of the cabinet, top 10, I was been with in the 2015, Chris. It's yeah. astonishing. And to this day, they've took, they've sworn to their positions. Yeah. They've took allegiance to oaths, sworn. Yeah, and they know they still commit the perjury. That's what made Elizabeth them. Truss was the Justice Secretary. <clears throat> She's sworn, got in their position. Sweeped out of their position sneakily and went off to work as a as an, a, a secretary to the treasury. Makes me laugh. David Cameron leaves his kid in the pub. Mr. Gove left his kid in a hotel and went out to to dance the night away. Exactly. So why didn't they come along and swap their kids? Double standards. Yeah. Double standards. And when they done to me, he sent me a letter telling me the baby I had weren't mine because I had nothing on my kids and snatch them. Nice. I'll say to you, government, you, you're, you're, you're cutting your protector's money. Sooner or later, your protector, who happens to be an elastic band being stretched from fucking every direction, which is the police, will snap. It will. It's going to get stretched too far. And children need a protector. They do. And I'll say to you, government, you're taking the piss, mate. How is that in the best interest of a child to take that child from outside the family circle? 
They said to me in the Mr. Barnes case to the tabloids, children's safety is a paramount, we don't want to speak to you, to the press. If children's safety is a paramount, why the fuck did you phone me son with all forms of abuse? To the extent where I got a, a lengthy priory report on the damage it's done. They're full of shit. They are full of shit, totally And the government still choose to ignore it all. And I don't get it, Theresa May. I don't get it. Jeremy Hunt. You've got a secretary, Jackie Doyle Price, MP. The heart of forced adoption, this lady. I can't see it. Is that right, bud? Yep. And this is MP Jackie Doyle Price. She is the centre and the heart of forced adoption. She gives no child a voice. She's a self-appointed ambassador to the school where I'm a governor to be. She does nothing for children. Her advice to me was sue the arses off the council. Her husband gave me a list of professionals of solicitors to sue the government. That's what she did. And then she went into the local tabloids and was screaming on about budgets. What a two-faced, glorified wealth extractor to the electorate, which is us. She got above her position, above her ship, her government, pulled up the ladder and took her job on as an assistant whip and turned her back on the very people that put her in her position. Absolutely, you should be ashamed of yourself. You let yourself down, you've let your family down, Jackie Dole Price MP, and you've brought your party into disrepute. You should be ashamed of yourself. Talk about, look after yourself. And this woman used me in the election. Vote Jack and Jackie. I got over a thousand votes. I delivered untold a thousand leaflets on foot to make change. Ignored as soon as she got her job. Oh, I've got a, a letter, an email sent. It's a simple admin administration. Bollocks, it's perjury. So I'd like to say to you, Theresa May, this Jackie Dell Price MP, how do you feel? Jacob Rees Mogg takes it very seriously. How do you feel on forced adoption? On this MP turning her back on forced adoption. Should be ashamed of herself, mate. Looking down on people. We've got an old state theatre in our community. Old state theatre. And this woman says, oh, let's put it into Costa. No, no, sorry, I'll rephrase that. Let's put it into um, Weatherspoons. Yeah. So what she's going to encourage is drinking in the morning. People sitting about waiting for it to open. <coughs> That's what this woman does. All for herself, this woman is. And I'm going to say that, MP Jackie Dole Price, because I can prove it. I can prove what I'm saying about your husband. And I'll say to everyone at Fire Council, aren't you ashamed? Her husband was on the fire committee, on the, on the board. He turned up at a couple of meetings and he was quick enough to draw his money as a councillor. Greedy family, mate. Gives no, no child a voice. And I'm going to say this, Jackie Dole Price. I want an apology off of you because when I confronted you, you told me to fuck off. And you've got in again in Farrakh. And I'll, and I'll say to you, Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn, I'll say to you, where's the accountability? Who's going to hold this woman to account? I don't get it, Chris. No, I don't. I don't. I don't get it. You can't come and challenge me on my videos, but you'll ignore it. You'll yeah. mess about with the yeah. sound. Yeah. You won't post it up. Big shot going on to everyone on YouTube. Because you're, you're saying the truth, that's why. They don't want to hear it. It'll be it. said and it'll be heard. And it will because I'll carry on if they start doing that again to your videos. I'll go online. All eyes of the opinion of forced adoption. The eyes have it, the eyes have it. The truth is out. Clear the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, hey Jack and Chris, foster carers should not be allowed or should not allow our children to be abused by medicating them for missing their family. It's so wrong on so many levels. Absolutely. Medication in our children. Some of this medication is liquid fluid. It's disgusting. It's and I'm telling you what's happening to these children. They're being taken from the bond of the families. When this child goes into a foster parents, 
It could be the best family ever, the most money, the most loving, it doesn't matter. When this child goes to bed, it thinks of its bond, and it cries and it grieves for its bond. Now, when it wakes up, it starts to display behaviour because of the bond. Now, this behaviour has been put down to the parents maltreating the child. So, hashtag Scouse Megaphone, man. I urge for you, government, to assess these children going into the care system and coming out of the care you're system. You're absolutely right, because I belong to an adoption group, and every one of them said it. Where they've grown up, they've felt out of place, they've felt they're not part of that family. Well, Marie's right, because what she's saying is they're giving them the kids medication, which is amplifying their shit. Yep. Do you know what I mean? I don't agree with all that. It shouldn't be medicating any child. Um, so it's all right for them to stick drugs into their kids. Hello Tank, thank for joining us, that's a new name, please share this, everybody share this, give children a voice, follow me at one Misty on Twitter, YouTube, hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man, I'd like to say thanks to everybody in the States, um, 26 states in America have reached, let's get the, 27 states in America have reached, let's get this rising, let's get this up, um, thanks to everyone in New Zealand, Australia, um, the Philippines, um, South Africa, Love you all. I love you all. Um, so a big thank you to Henry Tank. Please share this with your friends. Thanks for joining us. My two eldest in foster care got adopted due to giving birth in January. Due to give birth in January, January, I'm terrified of I'm I'm terrified of them doing this to me again. But they have no right to. I'm in a total different relationship. My eldest two are looked after children. They won't let me see them, even though court agreed. Six times a year, the system is fucked up. Yeah, and I'd like to that. say for you, Hen Lu Tank, and the social workers in that case, you're mentally, emotionally abusing this woman's children. That's what you're doing. You're alienating, which is what I'll shout for, this woman's children. And if the court agrees, why aren't you keep keeping up with this court order? You're fucking quick enough to go and act on an order and take the police with you and use them to clean up your fucking dirty work, you social workers. And I swear, because I'm frust passion. That's the name for fast text scouts megaphone man. For the dictionary, for children. Frust passion. I'm frustrated at the same time passionate. And I use that word when I swear. Because I've been that child. And the system, it stinks. It does stink. Look at all the children that are in the foster care. The vast majority of them. They need psychiatric help. They have to go and see therapists and everything else. Chris, they don't care. Damage. They will go and target them when they have yeah. their children. Causing and what else is happening? What, what, what alarms me? They've got nothing in place for those kids. For when they come out of foster care or when they run away. They've got no support there for any one of those kids that are in foster care. It's disgusting. Do you know the only help these kids find is either a boy or a girl the same age and they open up to that boy and girl, they open up to each other yeah. and because they've got no experience properly in life, they have a baby and the relationship breaks down because they don't know how to hold the relationship because they're so young. Yeah. They've sexualised themselves too quick. Yeah. Um, so then they target them again um, yeah, and then it, 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 it goes on. Which is even more worse. Um, thanks a lot for that, Hen Lu Tang, for touching on that. Um, I'll say in this family, why aren't you keeping up with the court order six times a year? Why isn't it being kept? Six times a year is not a fuck enough for us passion. Because this mum and probably <coughs> father in this woman and everybody else I'll share it for, it's not taken seriously. And these children are being told by social workers Oh, your mum couldn't turn up, or your father couldn't turn up this week, or uh, couldn't be bothered, or said to No, and the social worker's going to the parent and say, oh, no contact this week, and all that, yeah, some fucking bullshit excuse. The children are suffering, displaying behaviour within the care system. I ain't fucking listening to you, bollocks. I'm getting pissed and causing loads of grief in the care home. I'm going to nick the foster parent's car. I'm going to screw the foster parent's daughter. I'm going to nick off the foster parent and fuck off and go and get pissed for weeks on end. I'll do what I want. And that's what these looked after children do. And I'll say to you, government, I've been there and done it and it's still happening today. I'm 43 years of age. What are you doing with the money? The system still hasn't changed, does it? It stinks. It does. It creates money. Oh, the government fucking know I'm on it. And that's why they don't challenge me on it. Because it creates an economy. 
It's the heart of the government's economy wheel. The health service, big strain. Big strain. The police, massive strain. Massive strain. And they cut in their fucking budget, 19.6 million pounds. Oh, Telling yeah. the police to use their reserve, their reserves, and this builds up reserves, one and a half billion or whatever it is, right? They're telling them to dip into that. That's used to protect us from terrorism, violent armed robberies. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Very serious crime. Yeah. That's what that money's for. It's, it's not for extravagant wages within the police. It's the same with the police. They work hard. She's cut back on the policing. They work hard, but then they have to jump to the local authorities, go out and snatch these kids. It's wrong. The police are it's argumentative right. at the minute. Well, they will be. Right, they're regarding they're any out. aspect of being called out. Because they've had everything cut back. Because they're stretched by the yeah. government. What are you doing to fucking sort the street out? Yeah. We're saying, oh, you're a load of fucking wankers, they fuck off away from us. there's too many cutbacks. They it's crazy. And can't. you've got women, we're old women as well, scared of the youngsters. The youngsters might all be just hanging around in a group. But one thing I will say live over here. To Essex Police, I'm disgusted with you. You should have asked for their ID before you handed over my daughter. That's all I can say. You could have given my daughter to a paedophile or murderer, but to just not even ask two social workers walk in and not even ask for their ID. What are you playing at? It was probably all set up, pre set up before they got there, Chris. But... No, they weren't. No, my son was there, recorded it, but it was disgusting. Never even asked for their ID. I mean, I find it odd to believe that there's a copper out there that would go and remove someone's kids without an order. The social workers use the police to do it. It's wrong, yeah. It's what they've done to me. They do. Oh, let's go to court, get an order. Oh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll send the police out there for a welfare check. No, Fucking dragging the police into your shit, social workers. The police ain't there for your benefit. The police are not here, here to clear out your playground squabbles, what you've caused within the family, social workers. And Theresa May, what are you going to do about it? They go running back and forward to the police. It's wrong. They've got better things to do with their time. It's unbelievable. The police are stretched. They send them out on the lease that win. The system is rigged to make money. It is. Social services are there. It is, yeah. And I'll tell you, government, you take a look at all the social media threats with social workers. You take a look at it. I'm not urging anyone to break the law. But you take a look at it, government. And it's only going to be a matter of time before you deal with the consequences. But that's what makes if someone me takes the law into their own hands, the blood will be on your hands, Theresa May. Because you've known about this forced adoption for five years come November and done nothing. Um, Don Cockcut, regular name I'm seeing, put it on the list, babes. Don Cockcut, thanks for joining us. I'm worried for my Kyle. Babes, don't be alarmed, don't be worried. The best thing to do is share it, because the government hate it. Yeah. Put your arguments aside, people, and share it. The government hate it. The quicker we can band together on this now, and not mess about. It's all about Tracy time. Morris. Oh, mate, I can't take my out to this woman enough. She, she's amazing. I've lost a bit of contact with her. We've had a bit of chat. We've just got chatting again. I don't know if she's heard a few gremlins about uh, saying I'm working for the local government, but this Tracy Morris, mate, I love this woman and her friends. <laughs> Don Cockle, don't worry, just please share this. Get it out there at one Misty Bones on Twitter, hashtag Scouts Make a Man on YouTube. Get it out there because the government, they can't ignore it if it's out there constantly. Jeremy Corbyn, when are you going to hold the government to account on forced adoption? Children being fathers, mothers being alienated, you know? Let's bond communicate communities. Correct. Carla. Yes, Uncle Jack, you show them government who bo uh, um, who's boss. Thanks a lot for that, Carla. She's um, my niece. Thanks for joining us. Love you loads. Marie Keegan, That's Thomas, um, how can a psychologist make a report without meeting a parent? They will do if it's corruption. Because what I want you to do is have a look at your psychological report and marry it up with your social worker's final statement of fact. But because that's what they do. It. They copy and paste it into the report. Copy and paste, that's exactly what goes on, Chris, you're right. Uh, Marie Morgan Thomas, thanks for that. Um, I have, Dan, I have my son at home, no social involvement, but my daughter is isolated from the family. You see what I mean? What's that about? If she's capable of having one, like myself, then she's capable of caring for the others. 
I mean, there's another guy called Adam. He's out there. He, he's just got his um, kids. He's got his kids. Um, the judge said he was a good father. Um, he put himself to, to stop stop his kid going for adoption and then they're saying all of a sudden he's a bad father and they adopted his yeah, child. Exactly. But I find it a bit strange about this Adam guy, Shel is it Adam? Adam Schultz. Adam Schultz. Um, it's a bit, I don't know how you can get an extension. Um, yeah, the extension, yeah, what was it? <coughs> Six <coughs> extension. But I'll treat everyone, yeah. I'll treat everyone with even, evenness, yeah. yeah. So, Marie Keegan Thomas, so yeah, you're right, girl. They use they use psychological psychological assessments without even meet, even meeting yeah. parents, and they yeah. didn't do that. Um, I have my son at home, my social in, so, with no social services involvement, says Dan. But my daughter is isolated from the family. She's like, okay, Unbelievable. Done. 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 Sorry. It's my writing. It's Cheryl's writing. Sorry, Dad. Thanks again tonight, babes, for that. What you're doing. Um, CJ, thanks for joining us. Ben Fenlon, take my hat off to you, brother. Louise Bent, Dawn Copcut, thanks for you. Um, Shavens Markey, um, I'd love to go and spend a bit of time with you, with you pal. Um, sound, sound like a bit of me, just to have a bit of male bonding. Um, thanks, Shave, for getting me out there. Um, Diane Edwards, keep me posted, darling. Diane Edwards, um, he's not having a nice time, trust me. We're not doing a non-swatch this week um, because I've been so busy. Um, Donna and Electro Shock, big shout going out to you. Hiya, Donna. My heart's with you, my darling. Stick out on my list, babes. I love your bib and bop, by the way. Families Against Forced Adoption, I'm giving it a share. Um, they're doing a, a Blackburn protest on the 4th of October. If you're around Blackburn, get, get yourself down there the 4th of October on Families Against Forced Adoption on a protest, Adam's down there, whether you turn up, it's down to you. Um, if I can make it, a will, but I'm not promising anything because I'm, I'm based on change. Because um, every time I go and help families, um, I'm getting involved with the families and then I'm being blackened by members of that family. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sick of proving my name, Chris, so I'm not, I'm not going to get involved okay. too much anymore as much. Nice. I'm going to fight for change. So come this way, please share this. How they make families look vulnerable. Um, I had a chat with a lady. She's like me. Right? And I'd love to, I love this lady who I was chatting with. She knows who she is. I would like you to come on my Facebook live one night. I'll go and pick you up and I'll, we'll do a live one night and we'll do three of us do a live. Um, how, they, how social services make families look vulnerable and they do. They do, they split the family up, they isolate them. They use every trick in the book to make the mum look mom and feel. Their own and to make sure that the mum, then when she's on her own, they'll then go into court, flag it to the court and make out the mother's vulnerable, just so they can take the child. But if the dad is around or members of the family are about, they can't do that. So what they do is cut them all off, like they've got me to do. I move, upon their wish, they asked me to move, I put in for the exchange, done it, they come all the way up to Essex, stole my kids. Out of their jurisdiction? Out of their jurisdiction, they come from our chair and poof, up they come and took my kids. I'm squeaky clean. And I am, I've got no criminal record. I'll, I'll see Chris as part of my work engine. Chris Griffin, I'll see as part of my work engine. And I'm going to do what I can to get a kickback. And if I have to look into the adoption process and go through catalogue after catalogue after catalogue and look for their child and get it, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to if you did that. Chris, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to, uh, you, she, Chris knows I'm not going to make no promises. I'm, I'm going to bring the kid home. But I'll give it a fucking good go. What I want to say to the government is, why do parents get a new identity? We don't when we've had our kids. Started. And on this adoption process, when f families are losing their kids, they're not getting a new identity and they're targeted later. And it, 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 it leaves a horrible taste in my mouth. And you're getting these people out of serious grave offences against kids Look at doing a sentence. Pain. Yeah. Baby Pain. I could scream about that kid all day. I go up there before I ended up here. I was going up there every year, yet they had the cheek to target me and take my kids. What for? They fail so many children, it's unbelievable. I mean, social social services, 
They're going into a court and working on a case of probabilities. No, they're looking into a crystal ball. Now, they're removing kids on future risk of harm like they tried to steal my, my child. And I'd like to say to all you councils up and down this country, and our and new government, take notice to this. All you councils, letting agents, housing associations, estate agents, I'd like to say, why are you putting our children at future risk of harm, putting paedophiles who are not wanted in our community back into our community and putting children at future risk of harm? I'd like to ask all you people and your government and all you councils, the state agents, letter agents, I'd like to ask you all, why are you putting our children at future risk of harm? The same very matter, social services remove children from families in my community. But what they also do, which I have known, is... Fucked up! They put the paedophile near a school. Why? Exactly! Why? That makes me mad. That really makes me angry. So, I urge... They're supposed to be there to protect... I urge one part of pe one person, part of hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man, in every area. Merseyside, Manchester, Norwich, Norfolk, Suffolk, Kent, Essex, all over this country, one person from each part of this county to take a group action against the councils for putting our children at future risk of harm, putting paedophiles and child sex killers back in our communities. And because you're doing so, we're going to take legal action as a group action. And let's fuck this government and make sure they listen. Because these paedophiles, when they go to prison, they get scoused. And they get hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man Therapy. And I like to take my hat off to every pri prison person in prison that's following me on, on my live feeds. Because the Justice Secretary in this country, he hasn't got a grip of the jails in this country. And prisoners have got mobile phones and they happen to choose me. Because I'll give them a voice. And all these, all the, all these prisoners that beat these paedophiles up, they get more time. And these paedophiles shouldn't even be in prison, taking up prison spaces, taking up taxpayers' money, stretching the police resources when they come out in the NHS because they're getting beaten up. People are getting charged with offences because they're on the street. Why aren't we using these paedophiles and sending them to cure children's diseases? I'd like to say, why are we not doing that, government? And I'd like, I'd like this to happen. One person from every county take group action against their local authorities and their estate agents, get yourself a bit of compensation, right? And take these fuckers on. They're putting our children at future risk. Well, what do you think on this, Chris? I don't. Why are they releasing them back? They're not accepted in our community. The from, you know, and I'll speak to the child. Children. Why do it? Get rid of them. Stretching the taxpayers' money, well, stretching... Taking up all the prison spaces, stretching the NHS, stretching the police force. They don't even want to look after them, but they've got to because of policy and law. Give them a deadly injection, that's what I was saying. The police are so professional. So they look after them. Kids. They look after them, you've got yeah. to do because they're professional. But on the other hand, they beat, they, they'll beat someone up who's been a handful. Yeah. But I believe in the good old days, Chris, because the police should have respect. And yeah. I believe in them, the Ryan Van days, yeah. and the Truncheon days. Fucking get in that van, you are going to the police station. Yeah, so it didn't. 10 men 50, 20 years ago. No. It didn't take 10 police officers because the health and safety has gone mad. It does. Yeah. And it's leaving all these youngsters feeling like they're tough. It took 15 coppers to hold me down because of health and safety. Health and safety. Otherwise, it'd take one or probably two. Mm -hmm. Choke you out, get you in the van. Okay. When I was taken away when I was younger, it was a Mariah van. A Mariah van. It was not messing about. Do you know what I mean? When I went to prison when I was younger, it was slop out days. When prison was fucking prison. 23 hour bang up, slop out, shit in a bucket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your light was when your light, when the sun was down, mate. That was your light. And that, I was 15 going on 16 in a man's jail. Coming out and looked after child. That's what I've done. And that's what prison is. But prison now is a fucking joke, Mr. Lidington. It it's a holiday camp. Playstations. TVs, fuck all that. What about the therapy? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want them to be. They don't want them. Be, don't, don't want them. Okay, to come back on the street because crime makes money. But why are they letting paedophiles back on the street? What use are they to the community? 
I think yeah. we should take group action against our councils, our local authorities, for putting our children at future risk of harm. The same very reason why social workers look into a crystal ball and remove our children. Your children. Yeah. Hence why I'm here giving you that voice. Yeah. Government, I address this issue. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Keep comments coming in. Cheryl's giving me a signs up there saying the comments are frozen. Um, keep them coming in. I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's joined me tonight on YouTube. Uh, the reason I've live streamed on YouTube as well is because Facebook have been messing around with my, my Facebook lives. And I'll say to Mark Zuckerberg, I'm not dividing communities, I'm not causing race hatred, I'm giving children a voice. And it's a shame you're not just doing the same thing. All the money you give to cure diseases in humans, or look, look into look, finding the possible cures of human diseases, why aren't you using them, that money to put unknown drugs in humans are known as paedophiles to cure children's diseases at Great Ormond Street. Why are we not doing that? Take my hat off to all your people at Great Ormond Street. They're a fantastic job. Lorette, read Goldwyn and yet they quit happy, change children's ID, take them f far from their families and change their names. Exactly. And that's what they was going to do, Chris, yeah. because they was on at me through my case. You got to, Have you got the baby birth certificate done? When I got it done, and then the social worker came around and said they'll probably change the baby's name yeah, anyway. Yeah. When I'm hashtag Scouse oh, Megaphone Man, and awesome. I'll say to all my work engine, whether your kid's gone to adoption, when I do get up there to speak to governments who do want to speak to me now, well, I'm going to take all the names and I'm going to give them to the government, and if your child's been adopted and you're part of my work engine, Rest be assured, your child's going to know. You might not reverse the adoption, but I'm going to make sure your child does know part of the memory box. And I'm going to make sure the government do this. Because they are giving children new identities. Where are these fucking children going? Where are they going, Chris, when they go abroad? They're sent them live. Adoption right. agencies with, with millions. Millions. Um, thanks a lot for that, Lorette. Hanley Tank, Oxfordshire, I'm, I'm, on it, I'm on it. Thanks a lot for that in Oxfordshire. Um, Hanley Tank, he's going to be a public body in um, Oxfordshire to seek to um, take local councils or letting agents to court for putting children in the community a future risk of harm. Get yourself some compound, see what you can do for your community, mate. Put yourself forward as a councillor. I'll take my hat off to you, Hanley, Hanley Tank. People take a leaf. Because I'm telling you, we need to re re revolutionise children's services, combat social services, to make them bond communities for us families to enjoy giving birth and embrace life and the wonderful places we've got in the UK, which we don't do enough. Lee, Anthony, Jesson, don't forget the pedos running care homes. Pedos do run they care homes. Head, they do. <laughs> Well said. Um, Is he on there, there? I'll say to the government. Why are they not checking the people before? It is money? not adult entertainment. We call it paedophilia. They call it adult, adult entertainment blinded by fucking love. No, it's paedophilia. No. It's not normal. Paedophiles running care homes. Paedophiles becoming foster parents. Come on, government. Well, didn't Theresa May agree to that, though, about paedophiles adopting children? What cloud has she floated from? It's fucking <laughs> rife. But well, what I will say, just because she can't have children... Anthony Jessen, it's so fucking it rife. It is. <laughs> I'll say how it is, bruv. She can't have children, she. so I don't give her the right to wear anyone else's. It's disgusting. Billy Draper, they took my baby three days after birth. It's in oh, fucking hu inhumane. <laughs> Took it off a breast. Took it off a fucking they're not, breast. They're not even allowed to do that if you're Three watching. days. Oh, you can't leave the hospital. And I'll say to you, government, social workers are saying, oh, you can't leave the hospital. You can't leave the hospital. Babe, can you look up through the door? We've just had a tap on the door. Um, got a tap on the door. Don't know who it is, but I'm going to stay live. Billy Draper, they took a baby to Billy Draper's baby off, off, the, off, off the breast, whether you're breastfeeding or not. Three days after birth, you can't leave the hospital. Unbelievable. Did the same to me. Everything alright, folks? Yeah.
Yep, so next door coming. Coast is clear. I'll speak the truth. I'll say how it is. Thanks a lot for that, Billy. Um, they did it to me. They did it to me. And what they did was try to put falsely put my missus in a refuge and said I was su my missus was suffering domestic violence. Put her in the refuge. <laughs> when she out. got to the refuge, when my oh, missus no. told them I'm coming out of hospital because um, I've just had a baby. And the refuges were told she was coming out of hospital for fleeing domestic violence. And when the refuge found out that she weren't fleeing domestic violence, they said, you've come into the refuge and the false pretenses, you have to leave. So when we left the refuge, the social worker then phoned up the police and said, we fled the refuge, we want a welfare check. Fucking unbelievable what they did. This refuge wasn't even equipped for a newborn baby. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thanks a lot for that, Billy. They did the same to me, Billy. You're right. You smacked the hail on the head. Theresa May, your social workers, they took a baby of three days off a breast off of one woman. Big shout going out to you, um, Billy Draper. Kaz, that sick old Kerry, that's her fault, saying her sick rubbish that put you off a bit. Don't let her... She's no, she's nothing. And sis, we've had a, uh, a there's a woman I was helping on forced adoption. I was ninety percent sure this baby was coming home. And um, she went back to her abuser, uh, um, a child paedophile. Um, she went back to him, secretly going to see him, telling me she was going to work and she was secretly getting off to him. I kicked her out of my home. Chris has actually seen my bathroom I've tiles. Seen it. I've seen it. Disgusting. Chris has actually seen the baby room. Yeah. So. At the end of the day, this woman <coughs> chose her abuser and got back with him. I don't have time for people like that. Um, I've got... People that don't put their kids first. The police are taking this serious, this rape allegation. She's got previous to doing it. So I'm taking this to the highest level because it, it's, it's affected me. Okay, me too. <coughs> so thanks a lot for touching on that, Kaz. Cheers, darling. Um, Kaz, they're dirty kids. Burn their balls off. Whoop whoop. You tell them, bro. And I'll say to you, I'll say to her, Kaz, at the time. I smacked the house of the establishment and got my child back for my son. How the fuck did you think you was going to get away with going to meet him and me not finding out? She's talking about the paedophiles as well. Um, and the paedophiles. You're right, sis. They are dirty scumbags. Yeah, yeah. And the taxpayers are sick of it. The police are sick of it. And the NHS are sick of it. Um, so are them up. And I'll say, why are we doing this government using ch child paedophiles to cure children's diseases? Why are we not putting GPS in our children all around the world and telling all you leaders, Donald Trump and your press agency who's following me on Twitter, why are we not doing this, GPS and all our children around the world to get millions of pounds for children's mental health? Um, Carl Norris, they just hid the truth and make us, the parents, look like the bad guys. And Chris they Norris, yeah. they do make they you do. look like the bad guy. They, they deliver you to cause convicted. Yeah. You're supposed to be innocent until proven yeah. guilty in a British yeah. court. And yeah. I'll say to um, Cole, Chloe, is it Chloe, babes, or Cole? Cole oh. Norris, Chloe. they present you at court as guilty. It's Chloe. Yeah. And that's what they do in the family courts. They present you as guilty, the judge looks at all the evidence because of all the bullshit and adopts your baby. They do. Um, they did it to me. And I proved my innocence. I've got my child back. I'm not a fucking terrorist, Theresa May. I'm not a violent arm robber. I don't beat my missus up. I do not pump my dex with steroids and make them fight. My missus is not delusional. I have not got an anger problem. I've not got a personality disorder. You nick my kids for a council. You perjured yourselves. And it goes on, Theresa May. So it needs to be addressed. Social workers are making up lies. And blackening the family. Dividing the family. Saying the father's got a personality disorder. Saying the father's got an anger, personality, an anger problem. You're taking the mum off away from their family network. Miles away. Into a, um, and being assessed. By the social workers' corruption. Unbelievable. And this is what's going on, you're right, Chloe Lois. Thanks for that. Dawn, my son is at home, they letting him watch horror films. And it's it's fucking bad. Our children are ragged. Back in the day it was horror films. Then it was computer games. Now it's the internet. 
And now you've got Silent Justice, Shane and his crew, the children's bounty hunter, clearing up the fucking government's oh, internet. Nice. I've got respect for him. Why aren't they getting government funding, Chris? Yes, they should be. Silent Justice. Them. Government, I fucking ask you, you'll give paedophile thousands to catch paedophiles. Why can't you give my friends, Silent Justice, yeah. part of my work engine, catching and policing your internet, why aren't they part of government funding? Why haven't they got diesel cards? Why haven't they got the latest iPhones? Why haven't they got the latest technology for the internet? I bet that post up, you know, they said that the police are going to start working. They're doing a great job down there. Yeah, they're, they're brilliant, yeah. you know, and they don't get enough recognition. All you MPs yeah, yeah. who are sneakily watching me, and all you councillors, maybe you should watch their lives. They're brilliant. Kaz, I've said that. Norris, I've said that. Dawn, thanks for joining us. Lorette, thanks for joining us. Liam from Jesson, thanks for joining us. And um, please keep your questions coming in because children need a voice. At one Misty Barnes, please share this. Follow me, hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man on YouTube. Thanks to everybody in the states. Get 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 me out there. Let's please beat this. Twenty seven states in. I've reached. Now, I would like to urge all you people in the States to get me out there because I professionalise social care in the UK. For parents being alienated by their children, I've lived it. And I'll say to any MPs, how the fuck do you know? I've lived it. And what you people are saying is true. And these children, what they're saying, and they're screaming to be fucking heard. And I'm their voice, hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man. And in the States, it's a big problem. And, and I urge you to get me out there. I urge you, Donald Trump, in the States. In fact, we a wonderful country, Donald. We'll have a round. Not in the cage, because you wouldn't last five minutes. But we'll have a round of golf, Donald. You know, if you wanted me in the cage, Donald Trump, and raise money for children, let's do it. I've seen your technique of throwing a, 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 a wrestler to the floor. And I'll say to you, Donald Trump, would you like to jump in a cage and raise millions of pounds for looked after child. I don't think you will, but it'd be good to watch. It'd be good. You're a lot bigger than me, but I'll uh, give it a go. Donald Trump, I could revolutionise your children's services in the States. And I'd like to say to your people in the States, and all you people in the States, children are screaming to be heard. And I would like to get to every state in America, touch every state in America on YouTube. Hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man. So I'd like to shout, say thank you to everybody in the States that do share my posts. I, I love you loads. Government, all you leaders, why are you not GPSing your children? I agree. Do you know what I mean, Chris? No, they never take. Too many kids are disappearing. GPS all the children throughout the world, the kids won't go missing. The police won't take months to find them. You know, all lining up in fields, all that wages. Yeah. Mate, just GPS them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Empty the jails, you know, ease the tax burden. Jeremy Hunt, where are you? Let's hold the government to account on forced adoption. Theresa May, what are you going to do? A forced adoption, me and my work engine, we want accountability, transparency on this forced adoption. Children, parents being alienated. Um, Daniel Greenwood, the system is fucking disgusting. And I'm going to say how it is, Daniel Greenwood. The system is fucking disgusting, quote unquote. And the, the government, they don't care. It creates okay. jobs for the snobs, yeah. makes yeah. money, you know. All, all, all these are MFI, b &Q, fully stocked out for when you have domestic violence. Because social workers are coming into your home and dividing you and your husband or you and your boyfriend and conquering. And most of the time... It's these young people having kids. And then on the bounce off of that, it's the viability assessments involving other parties of the family, and then the grandparents are too old, yeah. la di da di da and this is how it's turning out. Look at the ages of the foster carers. It's it. But what we've got to not forget, Chris, is the fact that social care covers a wide range. It does um, social care. services cover a wide range. And social services are failing old people in oh, old people's yeah. homes. They're putting a strain on the beds in the hospitals. What They're leaving them there. Bed sores and all that. They're taking a the fucking piss, social services. And I'm for us passion for change. If I get my daughter back, what did I say to you? The first thing I would do is go back and do the job that I did and working with old people. I don't think you will because I'd want to keep you. You can be my nanny, Chris. So I'll tell you that for free. You're a nice lady, Chris. Um, I'm sorry it's not... I'm, 
able to give you the cover. I know you've asked me for a couple of times, but I'm sorry I have to but it's because of what Penny's done to me, do you know what I mean? That Gary, I'll say, yeah, I'll string you up. How's that? Yeah. Kayleigh Marie Morgan. Take your cow. Kayleigh Marie Morgan, PC Steve <coughs> Bowen, South Wales Police, agrees with us on how social services you then. PC Steve Bowen, I'll take my hat off to you. You are a children's protector and you don't get enough funding, you and your police force. And 19.6 million. Know, Chris, know. it's taking the piss. How can yeah. they expect a 110% job of the police? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll take my hat off to you, um, Steve. You do a fantastic job. And please, carry on doing what you do for children because you're the only people that do and, and do good for children and do what you say you do for children, which is protect them. The government, they say children's safety is a paramount. Well, yeah, children is. It's a load of bollocks. You're the only police. The police are the only people that give a shit about children. Let me tell you that. And hashtag Scouse Megaphone Man and the Karen family. Not your government. Otherwise, they'd address my issue. Thanks a lot for that, Kayleigh Marie Morgan. And I'll take my hat off to you, Steve Bowen, PC of South Wales Police. And I'll take my hat off to all the police at Farrock. Child Protection, Essex Police Child Protection. Thanks a lot for the fantastic work you do for children. Um, Cass, Cass, Cass and Jay. Um, thanks for joining us. Ben Fenlon, you know, mate, I, I like you, brother. Thanks. Put him on my list, he probably already is. My son was taken before I even got to meet him. He probably never even got a fair crack of the whip. Probably fucking dressed him up to be a bad dad. The, the mum probably did. The other family members probably did. His, the social workers Why probably fucking did. Ben Fenlon, it stinks, mate. I don't need to go know your case. That's probably how it went. It painted him and tarred him with a fucking bad brush and nicked his kid. Thank you for putting me in your group, by the way, Ben. Is he a looked after child, Ben Fenlon? I'd like to see if he's been filed as a child, looked after child, because I'll show any looked after child direction to take a lawsuit on their local authority for failing them as a looked after child. You took me off my parents and failed me. Now I'm suing you, the social services. So I urge any looked after child within the establishment to contact me. Thanks a lot for that, Ben Fenlon. Um, I'll see you as part of our work engine, mate. Brilliant. Hats off to you, brother. Well, I should treat some as well. That's a good point. I'll come out with any child that's abused in care, they're no longer allowed to be compensated. Now, they I need that out. compensation for therapy, for this, for that. She's now denied them the right for that. Jack Straw. How dare she? Jack Straw was the Justice Secretary at one time in this country, know, 2002, yes. I think. I and know. he made a law in this country for look the. the Child can't speak out if yeah. it's building me and maltreated. So, it um, it's shocking. And Jack Straw, I, I think he did make that law was because a family member, I don't know whether it was his brother or his uncle or whoever it was, brother, brother. Um, he was a convicted paedophile. Yep. Hence why now the looked after child's got no voice. And so now, uh, Jack Straw, man, what, what are you what proud Jack of that? Straw has done, he's illegal. So, why have they let him get away with it? They pass laws in councils and, you know, these the, 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 these parliament positions, they pass laws. There's nine or ten people doing it. They're speaking for us, people. Julie Lamb, I would, I would to go to know, I want to know, I would want to know how many children are adopted and fostered in Scarborough, Misty. If you put a freedom of information request, Julie Lamb, into your local authority, a freedom of, of information request yeah, asking yeah. Um, how many children have been adopted and fostered in your in your borough and they should get back to you within a certain time if not they've got to compensate you for that um, you've been you'd be surprised and where are pedos are placed after please release near seasides and schools got proof misty and it's true they do place them by schools, by seasides, putting our children at future risk of harm. I'm a children's rights campaigner. I'm a school governor to be for one of the best Harris Academy schools in the South East, Ofsted rated. Um, and that's what they're doing with our paedophiles. And, that, and this is why I say I want influential people from these counties to start getting group action to take on these local governments and council governments, estate agents, and start getting some compensation, part of Barnes & Co, to give children a voice for mental health therapy, because I'm going to set up a Barnes & Co, this is independent from something 
I've got in the pipeline. But this is what we should do. We should set a misty fund up um, and start taking on this government and these estate agents and letting agents and suing them for putting our children at future risk of harm, putting these people back in our community. And with that compensation, we'll put it into the misty fund for children's mental health. And we'll have a transparent account um, on spenditure, um, incomings and outgoings on the internet for us families to look at. Where the money's being spent. I think it'd be a brilliant idea. So I'd like influential people from all these counties to start forming groups and um, to see to, 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 to take group action against our local authorities and our letting agents <coughs> for putting these wrongings back in our community. Let's start giving children a voice because these are our children and we need to share this shit. And what makes me laugh is when the government turn around and say... Make them do it. They're, they're their children. But I'm sorry, the government wasn't in my bed when I can see my kids. So the thing is, once you get a birth certificate, you're, 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 to the, you're doing a contract with them, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, it's the best. Um, so, oh, it's a law if you don't get a birth certificate and all this shit. Oh, right, okay, it's when nothing but a number. I like to say to you, government, I am hashtag scams megaphone, man. I'll say and I'll do what I want. I'm accountable for what I do, and I'll know that. What I will say, government, I am not going to lead more. I'm not going to lead my life to believe my name is Jack Barnes because my mum told you, government, my name was Jack Barnes. I'm not going to lead and be brainwashed by my mother and told my name was Jack Barnes. So I'll tell you, government, I am hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man. I'm not part of your system because it's crap right through, and you know it is because I've exposed you, government. So I am hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man. I'm not a name and I'm certainly not a fucking number. I so I'll give children a voice. That's who I'm about. And on the top of that first, it's a number. So it's Julie it's Lamb, time. put a freedom of information request into your council at Scarborough and ask how many adopted and fostered kids there are within your council or on your books. And if they don't get back to you within a certain time, you should be entitled to some sort of compensation. Go through, your, put a complaint in at your council and take it to a stage one, two and three. Go to the board and everything and follow it right up. If you have to go onto the Ombudsman and take it even further, do that. I would. <laughs> because that's the process, Chris. Because what they do is they put councillors in the way, known as the human shields, to answer and deal with the scrutiny of their social care. Yeah. How can I complain to a work engine that answers and deals with scrutiny? But then a lot of the time, the underbusman won't get involved because I've gone there and I won't get involved. Thanks a lot for Julie, put her on the list, she's lovely. Um, please share this, I'm going to put, start thinking about ending this. Um, we need to get, get that tune ready babe, I'm going to play a tune out. Um, any demonstration for children, any fathers' rights um, protests, um, fathers and mothers being alienated for their children, any demonstrations, any walks, um, play this tune. The words are for all of us. This is not our song, but we use this song because the words relate to all of us. And I, hashtag Scouts Megaphone Man, am your voice. The people, because it's about time the, feet, the people fight it back. They are our fucking children. I am frust passion for change. Frust frust. Frustrated at the same time, passionate. Let's do this. Share this at one misty YouTube hashtag scouts my home man. Thanks for everybody on YouTube. <laughs> Take a moment, they are our children. Please, these words are our words. The higher you build your barrier. I am your voice, government. Take fucking note. I'm strong for you people. The faster I will run. Trust me. You can deny me. You can deny me. To turn your face away. Thanks. You are welcome. No matter. To get sharing. You know. Summon inside. So strong. Say government. Something inside so strong. Oh, something inside so strong. 
found looked after child government should be ashamed. <laughs> See you later.